Next we're going to be splinting an ankle. Uh, we're, we can either do this with a uh, pillow um, or uh, with a blanket. Um, we're also going to need, uh, I'm going to use some triangular bandages. Um, I have uh, three triangular bandages that I'm going to use. Uh, if, you ha if you had to, you can also use any type of tape, uh, duct tape if you needed to, if you had that. Um, elastic wraps may not work as, w as well with this one. Uh, with this one, what you do if they, if they had fractured or um, sprained their ankle, um, one thing that you do want to do is um, you, uh, you want to leave their uh, foot, their shoe on, uh, especially if they have uh, high, high tops or if they have hiking, hiking boots on, that's going to be very protective, plus it's, it might be a little painful to, to take it off. Uh, so then first one we'll do is with the pillow. Um, so again, with the, the pillow, um, we want to uh, wrap this around the base. Go ahead and uh, hold. And again, if they have if they have good hands, they can they can help hold the hold the top. And now with my uh, triangular bandage, I'm just gonna go around the top of the foot and tie it tight. Again, and if you, and if the patient's not able to do this, you can obviously have a another rescuer help you or a bystander help you. And then with another triangular bandage. Tie this one on there, snugly. And then again with the third one. May need to um, kind of tie it around the base. And again, you may need more depending on the size of your, uh, your pillows. But ideally, this is a soft splint that is around the, the ankle. So again, if we had maybe had one maybe a little bit higher, we uh, we can uh, also want to check the sensation uh, for the toes through the, or we can even ask them to wiggle their toes just to see if they have a little bit of movement down there, and then we can um, refer them to uh, to see the doctor. And then the next one that we're going to do is uh, for a blanket splint. Again, it's a soft splint, but it'll also help immobilize the body part. And with our blanket, again, we just uh, what you normally want to do is just kind of uh, fold the blanket to the size that you need. Then again, that's just going to wrap around um, the bottom of the foot, around the heel, and again, just uh, with your triangular bandages, again, while the uh, victim is holding the blanket for you, you're tying your little knots off. Or again, like I said, you can use uh, the tape here as well. Again, you can put one around the, the heel. Again, it needs to be tight enough to immobilize the ankle. Then one can come around the back. Um, and again, if we, if we had, you know, if we wanted to use tape, you know, we can also, if we needed to, we can do a, you know, figure eight to help hold it on there as well. Okay, or if that's all we, we didn't have triangular bandage, that's another method that we can use. Um, and then again, we want to make sure it's uh, effective, it's supporting the ankle, immobilizing it is, so that we can carry them off. You also want to check the toes to see if, if um, he can feel the touch. Uh, again, with this one, you still want to leave the, the shoe on. And we just refer them to see the for any of these injuries, uh, refer them to the doctor. That's it.